Hello there. So today I'm going to be doing something that I've not done in a very long time. Now, probably almost a year or so ago now, I started doing these Wish Art Supply videos. But I have found, not supplies today, I have found some really strange art-related stuff on Wish. And I thought we would go through this stuff together and just figure it out, see what we think and if it's any good or not. So give this video a thumbs up if you can, that would be great. If you like me, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like me, give it a thumbs up because you're thumbsing up, you don't like me. Okay, got it. Right, let's start. Now I really wanted to do like digital art things that I found on Wish, but they really only had like digital tablets and they were quite expensive and I was just like, I don't really want to spend loads of money on a tablet that's bound to not work properly. So um, I found a couple of sort of somewhat digital art related things, starting with this LCD writing tablet. Now I'm not entirely sure what this actually is. It's it's not like a tablet you plug into your computer, but it's like, it's not like electronic either. So I don't really understand. It says um, environment friendly, no paper, no chalk, always a good thing. Um, eight and a half inch LCD writing tablet. I don't know if it's like an Etch-a-Sketch or something. I'm not really sure. It says painting, graffiti, practice and calculus so i'm guessing it's because calculus is as confusing as whatever this tablet is um so let's have a look it says there's a pen with it and there's a built-in battery which is interesting saving paper up to 100,000 pieces i mean that's a very specific number <laughs> okay so instantly out of the box it's it looks like a like traditional drawing tablet you plug into your computer, but that's not what it is. There's also a little delete button here. So I'm guessing whatever you draw on it, you can delete it right away. There's this little pen here uh, that you draw on it with. So again, there's no cord. It doesn't plug into anything. So if I just look like... Oh my gosh, how cool is that? It's like one of those, um, it's not an etch -a sketch but when I was a kid it had like little hexagons on it and it was like grey and you had like a little attached pen that was too short with a cord and you'd like draw on it and then you could like swipe it to, to get rid of it. That's what this is like but it's like on an LCD screen. How cool is that? And then, okay, let's pre we'll press the delete button and see if it goes away. Yeah, the only thing that I would say is it's fun, like you could like doodle on it and all that stuff but you can't save anything that you put on here. Like if you're taking notes for school or you're drawing on it, you can't actually save it. I really don't, I've never seen anything like this. Maybe I'm just being ignorant. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it's not like backlit though. So like you put it into the dark, it doesn't, it doesn't glow. Next up, I have seen these figurines online a lot and I haven't really known what the hype is all about with them because they're, they kind of look a bit silly to me, but I could be wrong. Um, you know how you get those little wooden figures that you, you pose and are like bendable? This is kind of like that. They're like grey figures and um, you like pose them. They're kind of more realistic, like human proportions than just like a long-headed wooden creature thing. So it says it's an archetype next she uh, body. So we've got this on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and yeah, you can apparently just pose them in all these different poses. So it might actually be helpful to me, I'm not sure. The actual like official ones are like, I think $70, something like that. And who wants to spend that money? You know, personally not me. If I can get the stuff cheaper, I'm gonna get stuff cheaper. Already, when I open the box, she sort of, she, she looks a bit, she looks a bit awkward. She looks like me in social situations. She's got like a, I was gonna say, she has a giraffe neck. Now she has no neck. So that's that's a really, really good start. Um, how does this go on? Well, it goes back on all right, so that's not too bad. Um, she has really, really, really weird feet. Like, um, Like, I'm not sure whose feet do that. <laughs> what is that? That is so strange. And she's got like a weird touch. Is that supposed to be there? It looks like she's got like a sixth toe. Like, 
she has a sixth toe. So let's, I'll tell you what, we're gonna try and pose her in like a really like model-esque pose. So if we have her um, lying down, I kind of like the idea of these, but they're not, it's not overly bendable in my opinion. I'm getting really annoyed with her head. Right, we've got, okay, if you want to... The arm has now come off. Um, the arm and the head have both been, full, like, severed for some reason. Um, if you want to have a one-armed, no-headed uh, figurine, this might be an option for you. Stay! Right, so I've got a head to stay on. It does come with some feet and, and fists there that we can apparently replace, which is nice. Okay, well that's quite cool. I like that. See, she's got like a little fist now. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with that. I think that would be kind of helpful to me. I think her neck is still way too long. Like, way too long. That's just not... That just, just doesn't look right to me. But, you know, it's, it's quite bendable and you can do some quite cool things. So I'd give that like a two out of five because the limbs keep falling off. Next up for you digital artists, I found this really cool half a glove. Now, if you're not a digital artist, you probably won't understand what the point of this is, but basically when you in particular are using like a screen tablet, your hand can kind of like stick, like if it gets like sweaty or sticky onto the screen and then you can't really draw or have your hands slide across the screen very well. So um, it's, it's, it's great for getting your hand to just slide across the edge like that. It's just really helpful. This fits really nice and snug. I have quite like smallish hands, so it's quite tight on me. If you have bigger hands or, or like longer fingers, then you might find this doesn't work, but I like it. It's handy. It's gonna be really helpful to me if I'm using like my iPad or something, but I like this. It's just a basic glove thing. It was quite cheap and seems to work okay. Next up, I have an easy engraver. So this is it right here. Basically you press the button and it goes nee -nee, and then it, in it, in it engraves things. So I'm just gonna use like this bit of plastic I have on my desk here. Um, and it takes, it takes two AA batteries. Um, let's just That seems very weak to me. I think maybe it's my batteries. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! I think I've broken it. Oh, I'd be really upset if I've broken it because it looked really fun. This is the most fun I've had this entire video. honest I would never use this on anything but it was a lot of fun to use so if you want in a bit of fun in an afternoon get yourself an engraver and start engraving whatever your doors your belongings your boyfriend anything you want really so lastly I found this really cool pair of scissors that looks rather frightening and doesn't even really work for me because it's a right-handed pair of scissors and I am left-handed so that is very rude with this thing on it. Ready? Boom! Look at that. That's really cool. Pair of scissors with a laser on it. Always good to have in your kitchen drawer. Basically, the purpose of this is to apparently be able to cut a straight line. Now, I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work because if you're, you know, it has, sure you have a straight line, but then as you're moving it, the line is moving with you. So like, how, how does that work? I don't know, we're gonna give it a go to see how straight our lines are. So I have a bit of scrap paper here that I'm gonna use, and basically I'm just going to try and make a straight line out of it to see what happens. We'll say that's straight, like there, and then we're just gonna... Okay, moment of truth. Is this paper straight? 
No, it's not. That is not straight. Like, look how wonky that is. It's all over the place. What's the point? So yeah, that's everything that I bought. Um, bit of a bit of a a, a range of of strange things. Most of it's novelty, really, I think, but they have some interesting stuff on there that I always like to try out. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.